All right. Wipe the hair out of my eyes. It's getting long. Anyway, um, I've got this little hatchet here. It's a. It's actually just a Stanley. Um, when I looked it up, it was an earlier model. Um, I put a handle in it a few months back. My son's kind of getting to where he's really liking it and he keeps calling it his. Um, one of the things that with this handle, it just, I don't feel comfortable with it whenever I'm using it. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put a grip on it. I'm gonna do a little sanding down on it, spruce it up, make it look just a smidgen better than it does now, but it's just a, it's some suede. What's well, not really us. It's a deer hides what it is, but it's a thin piece of it. And I'm gonna kind of sew it on it to where it gives me that extra grip with it that I'm kind of looking for, and I'll sew it in to where it's tight. I hope I do anyway. Like I said, I, I called a friend of mine and asked him, and he shot me some things because I've never done anything as far as like stitching it down the, this piece down here but I may end up going with a, a thicker piece of leather instead with it, but I just, I kind of want it, because it's a little narrow right here for my hand. I mean, it's really, and then such a short handle on it. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So first thing I'm gonna do is kind of rough it up. The handle part right here, just some 600 sandpaper, whatever, kind of get it smoothing down and work on it. I'm going to probably go ahead and put an edge on it after. I'm going to make a sheath for it that will actually fit over it. Um, kind of cover the whole thing to where it just fits right down in it. And it'll be something to pass along one day maybe. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. So I'll be back. All right. All I'm doing, this is some 180 grit paper. I'm just taking it and I'm hand sanding it. Getting some of that old dirt off of it as well. Just kind of restoring it. I guess in a sense, it's not, the handle's not very old at all. But I want to get it looking pretty nice. And that's basically all I'm doing. I'm going to go all the way around. So, cutting it short so you can... Alright, I'm ready to do my stitching now. I'm taking this little stitching wheel that I got. Putting it right there on the edge. It's going to go just a smidgen lower on that end there. And only because I've kind of trimmed that down at an angle down through here. From here to here it's at an angle. Because of the way the fatness of the handle kind of goes up. And I'm hoping it works out well. If it's not, I got nothing but time. So, now that I've got my little pattern down through there. I'll just take my little hole punch that I've got and make sure that I can see it a little bit better and I'll poke my holes where each one of them are at to sew through it. Use this blanket boy. Keep you warm. And as you can possibly see well, there's the holes. I'll do that on both sides and I'll be back. All right. There it is. Both sides punched through. Same amount of holes. Ready to fold it over into it. And start sewing this thing on there. It takes about 10 minutes to poke all them holes. It's a lot of work to be done. But... When I get done, she should be wrapped all the way. Um, I'm going to do a saddle stitch across it. That'll kind of help pull it up and kind of get it to where it's all the way in there. And we'll see how well it turns out in a minute. So we'll be back. Well, like an idiot, I sewed the thing and didn't show you how I sewed it. Uh, probably a good thing though because halfway through it I was kind of checking my grips 
and stuff and I really didn't like how I started sewing it but uh, there it is it's the suede that's on it um, as you can see I started out with kind of like a saddle stitch right here I thought well I'll just do it that way and I thought man that's gonna be a deep ridge all the way through there I mean it's not too much I mean your fingers fit right in it so I got to doing it with just a cross stitch or an over and over and over and over and over and I thought well so I kept my hand up there and I said well this is where I hold it at so then I went back with a saddle stitch on back up through the other end of it um, but there it is I mean it's just putting on a handle it's it's on there I mean it's pulled tight um, gets wet it's gonna get a little loose I'm afraid but either way it's on there now for what I'm doing I don't plan on it getting too wet but it gives me that little more secure feel that I like whenever I'm holding it because at first it kind of felt like she would just slip right out of your hand if you wasn't really just because it's such a small handle and you know it's not banging down your or even if you were splitting some small wood but anyway that's it uh, long video to get you nowhere so we'll cut it off now i'm gonna make a sheath for it but it'll be a part two on it so we'll check you later